What's up guys, Eric Prey, Focus Fishing Guide Service, Table Rock Fishing Intel. Got another video fishing report for you for Table Rock. It is Tuesday, October the 10th. Uh, pretty much been on the water, either Table Rock or Taney Como for the last seven days. Uh, bites changing for sure on Table Rock. Uh, water temperatures drop significantly with these colder nights, so we've got a lot of different stuff going on. As far as our lake level is concerned, we're at 913.92, so still below summer pool uh, they're going to start dropping it here on november 1st so i don't think that they'll hold any water if we were to get any water so i think they're just they're running a little bit of generation every day not much there's really not as much power demand so they're not running nearly as much so i don't expect that to change much we'll probably be around that 9 14 for the foreseeable future. Water temperature is a bigger story though. We had warmed up, we were back up around 80 degrees last week. Uh, this week just got off the water and I saw 73 to 75. I went up Long Creek thinking I'm getting that dirtier water and it might be a little bit warmer, but it, it was really right around 74 degrees. So water temperature is definitely cooling off. The fish are definitely moving. The bite is definitely changing. It's different every day, just, uh, Talking to guides that were down by the dam yesterday versus today, it was wholly different today than it was yesterday. Best way to know what's going on, best way to stay on top of it is to join Table Rock Fishing Intel, become a pro subscriber, and get all those daily reports, weekly reports, the expanded version of this particular video. All of that's available to Table Rock Fishing Intel Pro members. So check that out if you haven't done so. As far as the bites are concerned, drop shot bite is still working. Uh, it has been different every day. Uh, over the weekend, we caught a lot of fish suspended in trees, on dock cables, that sort of thing. Since the weekend, the fish have moved. The fish have slid out. They are on gravel, but they are not in that 20 to 25 foot range that we've been catching them. Most of the fish we caught yesterday and today were in 30 to 40 foot. So the water has already cooled down. It looks like the thermocline that we had has broken up and most of the fish we're catching drop shotting are on the bottom on main lake gravel points, 30, 35, 40. We caught one in 48 foot deep today. So keep that in mind if you're gonna drop shot. Shallow bite has been hit or miss. It's 100% predicated by shad. If you've got shad in an area, that's where you're gonna wanna fish, especially if you've got shad up shallow, that's where you wanna fish. Steeper, rockier banks have been better than flat gravel banks or flat gravel points back in the creeks. Basically what I'm doing is I'm kind, I've kind of got like a one-two punch going when I do get the opportunity to go back in a creek and fish. I'll throw a topwater early, whether it be a buzz bait or a whopper plopper, I will parallel those bluffs. I will get right up against those channel swing, I call them bluffs, but they're channel swings back in the creeks. Keep that bait tight to the bank first thing in the morning. Work that shade line, try to keep the bait in the shade, try to keep it close to the bank. That's where we've been catching a lot of fish doing that early. As the sun comes up and it gets up, it gets to where the sun is on the bluff or on the channel swing, I'm switching up. I'm throwing the Jewel Peewee HD Spider Jig. That's been my best bait. I've been using mostly Hail Mary has been my number one color. Matched it up with a Versa Crawl and Green Pumpkin. And I'm keeping the boat out in about 12 to 15 foot of water and pitching and working it slowly over the rocks. You've got to fish slow. You've got to work it down those rock faces through those craggy rocks, but that's where those fish will move once that sun gets up that you'll be catching up shallow. Other bites that have been working off and on, depending on the weather, you get a windy day. We had a pretty good windy day on Saturday and we were catching them on a chatterbait and a spinnerbait. Not a lot of fish, but we were catching them later in the day on those same bluffy banks, those same channel swing banks that we catch them on a plopper and a buzzbait early. You can catch them on a spinnerbait and a chatterbait up against those banks if you've got wind crashing up against them. So keep that in mind if you're fishing this weekend and we get a windy day. I know tomorrow is supposed to blow, but I don't know what the weekend's supposed to do. Those are really the bites that have been working for me. We are still catching a few on a crankbait. That crankbait bite has been really hit or miss. Uh, seems like on those windy days, if you can't get them to eat a chatterbait or spinnerbait, if you just back off of that bank a little bit and kind of parallel out in that six to 10 foot range with either a uh, wiggle wart or a rock crawler or whatever you like that dives down to about eight or 10 feet and hit those channel swing banks as well. 
You're gonna fish a little bit slower than you do in the spring, but you just can catch a few doing that as well. It's not as been, been as good on a windy day as a spinnerbait or the chatterbait bite, simply because these fish are really keyed in on shad right now. Guys, we are almost halfway through October. Uh, I, if Mother Nature would make up her mind and it would let us either get cold or stay warm, one of the two, I think the bite would get a lot more consistent. But I do see some solid fall patterns starting to set up. It's interesting that the fish, the deep fish, are moving out deeper already, especially those spots. That makes me think things are starting to move, things are starting to happen. We will probably have a solid deep bite in November and probably a pretty good shallow bite in November as well. Best way to know, of course, join Table Rock Fishing Intel as a pro subscriber and get all those reports, get all that information so you know what's going on before you come to the lake. But if you're coming down, want to hire a guide, give me a call. It's Focus Fishing Guide Service. You can reach me at 417-860-4743 or hit my website, focusfishing.com, where you can either book online or just shoot me an email. Either way, I get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Again, check out Table Rock Fishing Intel if you haven't done so, but thanks for watching. Can't wait to hear from you. We'll see you on the water.